When working in surface mode in 3D Coast Sculpt Workspace, you have some different tool groups to work with. One of those is the pinch tool group, where you have regular pinch, smart pinch, and roof pinch. We're going to focus on roof pinch in this video, but I first need to explain the distinction between it and the smart pinch brush. So let me try and draw a little diagram here to illustrate, uh, maybe from a side profile a surface and let's say you have an indentation in this surface and then you have your brush over the top of that surface again this would be from a side profile and what would typically happen with just a pinch brush is you would have these vertices come together toward the center of the brush In some cases that may be what you want but in 3D Coat there is a two-stage method to using the pinch brush. It actually will let you indent or extrude while you pinch. Right click and drag up to increase the profile or decrease it as you drag down with the right mouse button held. That's going to increase the level of indentation or extrusion while it pinches and therefore you get a crease. When would you want to use that in 3D Coat? Obviously around areas like the eyes for example uh, maybe the lips or the crease in between the lips and so on. With Smart Pinch, it's going to detect whether or not there's an indentation or an outward extrusion, and then it's going to augment that. Roof Pinch will do the same thing, but what happens with Smart Pinch is it typically will flatten each side of the crease as it begins to extrude inwardly or outwardly, whereas Roof Pinch will try to leave small details intact. I will show by way of contrast Smart Pinch first. So let's say I wanted to really sharpen this eyebrow line up. Uh, I will go ahead and drag across it a few times and you can see what it's doing is it's sort of flattening the sides of the pinch. So I'll go ahead and undo one more time. Yeah, um, let me go back down to let's say about 25. Okay, so now we'll switch to Roof Pinch where we have some more minor details here. In fact, I'll go down a little bit further. Okay, and now with Roof Pinch, I can even create a new layer if I want just for this. It may seem like it's doing nothing, but you can see it's leaving those details. It is pinching. I'll go ahead and undo a few times here. So you can see that it did indeed pinch. It's just the fact that it's leaving the surface details intact makes it appear that it's not quite pinching strongly enough. Okay, so I will show that roof pinch even though it makes it sound like it's going to extrude outwardly, it is like Smart Pinch. It will detect whether it's an inward crease or an outward crease. And I need to increase the degree if I want it to be a little bit stronger. And I can do the same thing here. So that's a quick look at the difference between Roof Pinch and Smart Pinch in 3D Coat 2021. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.